Okay, now let's review today's recipes. First, the seafood kakiage donburi. Rinse and soak the rice before cooking. Chop up the shrimp and scallops. Prepare the tempura flour and water. Mix together. Sprinkle the shrimp and scallops with tempura flour. Then mix into the tempura batter using gentle motions. Place a small amount onto a wooden spatula to form the kakiage and slide it into the oil, heated to 170 degrees Celsius. After a minute, turn over and fry for two more minutes. Then remove and set aside on a rack to drain. Prepare the sauce by bringing a mixture of water, granulated dashi, mirin, and soy sauce to a boil. Plate the rice and drizzle with sauce. Place the kakiage on top and drizzle the sauce over it. Garnish with shredded shiso leaves and a pinch of salt to finish. Next, the chicken and cucumber donburi. Place the chicken, water, Japanese leek, and ginger in a pot that bring to a boil. Reduce the heat to low and simmer for 10 minutes. Cover and turn off the heat. Set aside for 10 to 15 minutes and finish off with residual heat. Cut the cucumber into thin shreds. Pluck the cilantro leaves from the stems. Combine the wasabi, mayonnaise, sushi vinegar, and soy sauce in a bowl. Mix. Cut the boiled chicken into shreds, carefully slicing. Next, dress the chicken and cucumber with the sauce. Place the cucumber and chicken mixture on a bed of rice and garnish with cilantro. Finally, the onion and egg donburi. Cut the onion into thin slices. Place the onions, water, midin, soy sauce, and sugar in a frying pan. Cover and simmer. Drizzle the beaten egg over the onions in a circular motion and let it cook. Stirring occasionally. When it's still slightly runny, place on top of the rice and sprinkle with sancho pepper and it's ready to go. Try these three delightfully different and oh so delicious traditional Japanese dishes.